Displacement, the vector displacement, is something that relates what is the relative position, not of the two particles, as we said before, but of the same particle with respect to the original position of the particle. So imagine they have particle P. At the reference configuration, it has a position which is denoted by the material coordinate vector, a capital X. Okay, the same particle at the present configuration, at the current configuration, occupies the position P prime. And it's described in terms of the equation of motion of the spatial coordinates, capital X. What is the relative position of these two points is small x minus capital X. This is what we call displacement. We said that this particle P has displaced a quantity, which is this vector, which is that vector minus this vector. And this is what we call displacement. Okay? Let's go to another concept. Now we have the displacements, described either in material form or in a space form. Okay, we can do something similar to what we did before. We can take the differentials, the differentials, or the derivative of the displacements with respect to the coordinates. Okay? So, let's just start with this equation, and we can differentiate the component, the component y of the material description of the displacements with the material coordinate j. And this is and here there are two indices. So that's the second order tensor, so to speak. So, by the way, by differentiating that with respect to a j, we recover something, this, which is the derivative of the small x y with the capital X j. Which, by the way, I recall that that is what we define as the component i j of tensor f, the gradient of the formation tensor. And here, when uh, we define, we di differentiate the derivative of x y, capital X y, with respect to capital X j, this is zero if i is different from j, and one if i is equal to j. So this is the delta Kronecker. Okay? So we can say this equality. We define that entity <coughs> as a, not another tensor that will turn displacement gradient tensor. I said gradient tensor. Gradient means derivative, material, spatial derivatives, this the, of the displacements, capital Gij, which, by the way, the component Ij can be computed as Fij minus delta Ij, which is here. This holds for every component Ij equal 1 to 3. And now this is an initial expression. How do we pass to the compact expression? Well, let's look. This is the component Ij of one tensor that we call J the gradient of displacement tensor. This is the component tensor of uh, one tensor that is Fij. So I have to place F here. And this is the component of a tensor that is the unity tensor. So I can say that J, which is defined as the transposed material gradient derivative of the displacement, is equal to F minus 1. So in fact, there is nothing new here. If I had F, F, I could have computed capital J as the material gradient of the displacements just by subtracting the identity here. Okay? Well, we could do the same in terms of the spatial description of the displacements. I can now differentiate these displacements with respect to the small j, and I will obtain something which is similar to that. I differentiate x small a with respect to a j, which is delta ij, minus derivative of capital Xi with respect to a small xj, which is, as we defined before, the component ij of the inverse grain of the formation tensor. Okay? So I can define this j, and I will denote that, look, following my being consistent with my notation, this is something that will depend on the small x, would be typically, naturally, would be described in um, a spatial description, so I use the letter j, small j, to indicate that. Whereas this other is typically described in terms of the capital X, so I use the capital J to define them. Okay? So finally, I arrive to that description that says that a special, this is the material displacement gradient, material displacement gradient, capital J, 
which is f minus 1, and this is the spatial displacement gradient, which is 1 minus f minus 1. Look, they are not the same. Eh? They are not the same. They are different concepts. One is the displacements. The, one described how the displacement change when I change the material coordinates, because this is the derivative with respect to the material coordinates, and this other says, informs, and how the displacement, the same displacement change when I change the spatial position. Okay? So they are not the same and physical entities. Okay? Of course, both can be described in material form and in a spatial form. For instance, if I wanted to describe the material displacement gradient tensor in a spatial description, I would have just to replace the small x here and replace the inverse equations of motions, and I would obtain this tensor described in spatial coordinates. And I could do the same for here. Okay? But that doesn't mean, it doesn't, that doesn't hold that this is the a spatial description of that. No, no, they are different entities. Okay? Look, again, what happens when I have a pure shifting? So, a body that moves without changing the relative position of particles, and uh, look, uh, shifting, moving in that way, right? Without changing the relative position of particles. Okay? What would happen that? The displacements the displacements would be the same for all particles. That particle that stay here and move now here has experienced the same displacement that that particle in the motion. So for, for a pure shifting, shifting, you understand the word shifting is trans, translation, translation. So for a pure shifting, the displacements do not, de does, do not depend on the, on the x. So when I compute f, then is in that case, the derivative of x with respect to x, this doesn't depend on x, so it's the identity. I said also before, for a pure translation, a pure shifting, the gradient of the formation is unity. And in that case, these gradients, the displacement gradient tensor, the, according to that, if s is unity, f minus 1 is 0. So this gradient is 0, this gradient is 0. So for a pure shifting, shifting like that, the gradient of the deformations, either the material displacement gradient tensor or the spatial gradient of the deformation tensor, are zero. Zero. Okay? Zero. 